I don't give a f What's up guys, Sal here. So it's finally happening. We have a real hands-on look at the Galaxy S22 Ultra that shows what we've been hearing about the handset is indeed true. But before that, let's talk about the unpacked event for the S22. Past rumors suggested that Samsung would keep an unpacked event in the second week of February. Today we have an exact date of when that's gonna be. According to John Prosser, the pre-orders will begin from the 8th of February and the phone will be available in stores from February 18th onwards. Usually pre-orders begin on the same day as the unpacked event, so this pretty much means the launch event will take place on the 8th of February as well. Now coming back to the hands-on photos, the rumors about Samsung adopting LG velvet-like camera design is indeed true. It seems like the days of a dedicated camera island are finally over, or at least as a start because the iPhone 14 is also expected to have cameras flushed inside. There won't be any camera hardware changes though compared to the S21 Ultra, and that's not necessarily a bad thing because computational photography plays a bigger role when it comes to cameras these days. So it's highly likely that Samsung will improve the camera performance with software this time. Interestingly, the handset will have a 48% improvement in camera stabilization and not really sure if they are using a new censorship stabilization for that or a better optical image stabilization. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, this design marks the return of the Galaxy Note as not only this handset looks literally like the Note 20 Ultra, but also there's a dedicated S Pen slot at the bottom on the left side. Rumors said the curved display is gonna look more like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and that seems to be the case here. Also, as you can see, the handset is thicker than the Note 20 Ultra, and that's because Samsung is using a bigger 5000 mAh battery. As long as the handset is not ridiculously heavy, I don't see this as an issue. Also, as you can see, the bezels at the top and bottom are similar to the Note 20 Ultra. Rumors said the Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus will have thin uniform bezels all around, but they never said anything about the Ultra, so there's that. All in all, as a Galaxy Note fan, I'm pretty happy with how the S22 Ultra has turned out. Samsung has nailed the hardware part, but like I've said, hardware is only a part of the picture. Software optimization plays a bigger role. Google showed that with the Pixel 6 Pro. Now the ball is in Samsung's court. Of course, let me know what do you think about the design of the S22 Ultra in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.